the uh, minister at Uniting Church at Glasshouse Country, and we've just had Chris, uh, Chris Jenkins this morning to speak on her testimony. And uh, I can tell you now that it's pretty exciting and it's inspiring. And what I found this morning was that Trish has been backing up my preaching of the last few weeks. Unconsciously, she didn't know what I preached about, but she was really reinforcing it from what she had to say to the people here this morning. So I really recommend that you invite Trish to have her come and speak to your people so that they too can have their fires lit more brightly. In Jesus' name. Amen. A cell, which was just like mine. Well, it's largely compared to what we have in the Air Force. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, true. But you're a bloke, so you don't need a toilet seat. <laughs> I was never a drug addict. For me, it was just the trauma, the anxiety, and the depression. And I said, Lord, you have given me a spirit of love, power. How can you have power when you're behind bars? It's all in how you look at it. Ask him for his perspective of that person, of that situation, and even of yourself. Because when he gives you his perspective of yourself, you say, oh, perhaps I have a little bit of repenting of my own to do. Perhaps I was a little stingy. Perhaps I was a little jealous, a bit competitive, and thought, mm, my cake's better than her cake's. So... <laughs> When really you could be connecting with that person, caring about it. Help me to think the way you think. Because, you know, he says, my ways are not your ways. But he also says, learn my ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. But he says, when you're my friend, I no longer call you servants, I call you my friend. That's when you share your thoughts with people. We become more like Christ. If you're becoming more like Christ, you're going to think like Christ. You're going to see people like Christ. Not have the look. And that would be my encouragement to you as you leave. When you go to meet other people and talk to other people, look at them. But don't, don't, you know, don't do sort of glare at them. I'm looking at your soul and I'm reading your sins. So you must have had an interesting life. You have the most adorable earlobes. No, don't say that. <laughs> Every darkness, it's just a matter of how you look at it. There is treasure to be found. And that treasure, the value of that treasure is magnified when you can share the treasure with others. Because that's what it's for, to change the world. 